as Tonster back, got another replay for you. This time in my I'm in my STA2, and we're on Ents, and we're bottom tier. Um, but this is what happens when the enemy ignores you, and you play really cagey. And that's kind of what I do this game, and you're going to see... Um, I miss a few shots. I fire a lot of gold. I'm shooting at stuff like mouse, <laughs> JPEs and stuff. So um, I am a little bit cagey and I do fire a lot of gold. Now, this position is pretty good because nobody can really flank you unless they come up through this middle here. And so we're just trying to get rid of the, uh, the cover there. And unfortunately, we missed the shot on the VK. So those new VKs are out. I'm not the biggest fan of them. And here comes a Scorpion G. So we're going to go and try and help against him. That's a tank that we can certainly pin. And as we cross, there's a Pantera and a JPE here. And we've loaded HE. Now that uh, Scorpion had already fired, so I knew I at least had one shot at him. So now we're not going to cross this right away, right? We're going to get behind these buildings, and we're going to cross when we don't, when they don't have much chance to hit us, right? Because the JP hits us, our game is pretty much over. So now we've loaded gold rounds. It looks like um, there's a fair amount in the city. and But we've completely won the field. So what does that tell me? It tells me that I'm going to have shots on guys trying to escape field. Right? And you see how I'm, I'm looking to see if anyone's looking at me first. Because, you know, these guys can do serious damage to me. 400 damage at a whack. It only takes four shots, and, I, and I'm through. So we rushed our shot a little bit there, but that's okay. Because we're just going to continue to get side shots on these guys. Now, that Yag Tiger, I could probably pen him with standard rounds. But what I'm trying to do is slow these guys down so that they cannot push around my heavies. So I feel like that's a more important thing to do. And I know this guy is fired, just fired. So I'm okay to sit out here and take another shot at him, right? So it's shot selection for me here. I mean, it's a friggin' shooting gallery, right? Except for this guy. This SDI is wise to my play. Except that I know for a fact I've got at least one shot on him, right? So I don't let him go without punishing him a little bit. So again, you can see these guys are pushing around into my guys. So I'm taking an opportunity when and where I can to get shots into those guys. So this mouse, I don't know what he's thinking, but he is going to completely ignore me. <laughs> And we're up to 1,700 damage just by virtue of sitting somewhere. So there's another 200 on the mouse. And we'll take this all day long, right? So the mouse goes down, and I decide I'm going to try and shoot these guys. Yep, there's an E75, not paying attention. And I probably should have pulled out, but there's a grill there, and I don't want to get hit by the grill. So we pull out just enough. I see that the E75 is looking my direction, and I'm just gonna wait, you know. Once he turns his turret, fair game, you know. So we're able to track the STI, and we're also at this point able to keep shooting him for free because it's 13 to four. So it's just a matter of these guys ignoring me for long enough. Now, I could probably get away from the heat rounds now, but at this point, I've had a pretty good game, and I want to make sure they pin. So that's just positioning and, um, and playing like a support medium 101, and it's, it's much more difficult to do normally than that, but the fact that we had pushed around this side... 
means that anybody that was faced this direction no longer could face me. And I'm not that much of a threat, really. I mean, I fired almost continuously, and I only have 3,300 damage, no kills. So, um, I just thought it was an interesting game, and I thought you guys might like it. It is only a first class. We'll go and look at take a look at the after-action report, but... Um, I thought it was interesting enough to post for you guys to have a look at. So uh, we'll just see in a second at the after action. Okay, here we are at the end plates. We did get a first class on that game and also a, a Confederate. Um, we ended up with 1,216 XP, 3,387 uh, dam damage, and no kills, um, which, you know, I was okay with the no kills. We ended up losing 8,000 credits because we fired a lot of gold people, but... Um, we were useful in the game, and sometimes you have to fire gold to be useful. 19 shots, 16 hits, 14 pens, um, and we did basically no player assistance. We hit eight tanks um, that were obviously killed because the entire enemy was killed, um, and we ended up with 1,338 XP. So not a fantastic game, but a great show of playing support tank in a tier 10 game when you're a tier 8. So I appreciate you guys watching. We will catch you on the next one. Tonester out.